Good morning and welcome <coughs> to our live this morning. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley here in the UK. It is Monday the 25th <coughs> excuse me of April 2022 and I have decided that as I attended a beautiful wedding at the weekend I'd use the something old something new um, for today's um, ideas and so we're going to be using something old and that is the in <laughs> symmetry stamp set this is retiring at effectively at the end of the month actually on the 2nd of May but effectively the end of April and it's a photopolymer stamp set and it has these lovely flowers and leaves and stalks that are basically symmetrical so you can do lots of different things with them now this is on offer it is now um, £9.60 it was um, 18 I believe originally so just a little under <coughs> half price a little over half price rather and I thought I would match this old stamp set with our new in colours so um, each year Stamping Up introduce new in colours that follow the trends and fashion and these are supplementary to our standard range of ink pads and there are five in colors each year and they last for two years at a time so these will last from now <coughs> 2022 through till may 2024 and these are really nice bold bright colors as you can see there are three blue tones and then we have a pinky red and then a really nice bright green and I'll just go through these um, with you so we have sweet sorbet and I've got the cardstock as well so this is sweet sorbet a slightly pinky um, poppy parade then we have Parakeet Party, Let me put these up here, which is this one here. So a nice bright a sort of lime coloured. If you remember Lemon Lime Twist or Lucky Limeade, it's in that same sort of set of colours. Now obviously this is on my video camera and going through to your phone or to your computer or your television. So the colours aren't necessarily going to be as true, obviously, as they are in real life. We then have Starry Sky, a really nice deep blue, not as dark as Night of Navy. A bit more similar to Blueberry Bushel, if anybody remembers that in colour from a few years ago. Warning Jeanette. And Warning Glenda. We then have... Orchid Oasis, so I'm just talking through the new in colours that are coming out. <clears throat> so this is a slightly um, purpley blue. And then finally we have Tahitian Tide, which is obviously a nice deep turquoise, very similar to Tempting Turquoise, if you remember that. So a really nice set of bright, cheerful in colours. So what I'm going to do is use the stamp set, which is retiring and on offer at the moment. That's here in the UK, obviously, and the new in colours. So let us get started. I thought I will do, um, I've cut out some layers for some note card sizes. So I'm going to see if I can make some cards that fit the note cards and let's give this go so i've mounted up some of the stamps already so i've got the leaves i've got this circular flower and the stalk 
and I've chosen the set of two leaves here that you can then build up. You can either have a set, one set, one pair, or you can have multiples depending on how much space you've got. This stamp set also has these other little flowers that you can use. Um, these leaves here that coordinate with a matching punch and then some nice sentiments. And we also have the individual leaves as well. So if you wanted to add extra leaves, you can do. And we have a set of large leaves and a set of small ones. So obviously for my note cards, which are, um, this is three inches by four and a half, I'll be using just the small set of leaves. I might grab a piercing mat to pop underneath and a spare piece of grid paper. So let's move this out of the way for the minute. Okay, so I'm going to use the greens for my stalks. Obviously, this was done in Call Me Clover, or is it? No, it might have been just Jade. So long ago, I can't remember. So I'm just going to have a little practice. So when you have new ink pads, sometimes they're really inky. And so when you're using especially photopolymer stamps, if you ink them up, and you don't get the detail you want, let me just stamp it on some white, then what you might need to do is move the ink around. So if I lift that up, you can see the detail of the gaps in the stamp. Hopefully you can, like so. But sometimes, if I just grab this sweet sorbet, Sometimes there's too much ink on the ink pad. Let me just see. Now this one's okay, but I will show you again. So, okay, so you can see this detail going around the edge. But if you can't see the detail, then what you need to do is just move the ink from one end of the ink pad to another. You can do that with a bone folder or the edge of a block. And literally what you want to do, and you'll see, if I move that over like that, you can see the lighter area on that ink pad. So if you find it is pooling too much, and it is particularly affects photopolymer stamps, it doesn't affect red rubber quite as much because it has more um, adhesion to the stamp. Um, now this will work its way back again, so you don't need to uh, move it back afterwards necessarily. If you don't want to, just let it settle back in place. This ink pad's been used um, a fair amount last week, so that's probably why it's not... Um, cooling in any way. Okay, so let's have a go. So what I'm going to do for my first card is I'm going to stamp three stalks and then three flowers and I'm going to use the three different blues so that you can see them stamped one after the other. Okay, so let's do the stalk first. So I'm just going to stick with the in colours. I need to take my glasses off. And I'm going to have this just off the bottom, I think. There's one. Actually, what I'm going to do is stamp the flower next so I know the spacing. So let's grab, um, let's put the dark one, starry sky in the middle and then the light ones either side. Let's just cut these up for the moment. And I'm just going to clean this off. 
so I hope everybody's had a nice weekend. I had a lovely weekend at my niece's wedding. Um, they, it's just the third time they had to um, try and book it, obviously because of COVID, like so many places. And um, it was a beautiful day from start to finish. Okay, so I'm going to pop this one here. This is Starry Sky, like so. And then that's just given me, um, hopefully, enough spacing for the others and the leaves. So here we go with the next stalk. One. Two. and I'll do the flower heads first so I'm going to put orchid oasis this is the very slightly um, purple color and I'm going to just stamp this off on the right hand side just to make sure it's not too inky which it isn't it's perfect so so that's the orchid and of course with the in colors we have everything to coordinate so we have the matching card we have gems to go with it we have our stamp and write markers we have our stamping blends and we also have two sets of designer paper that coordinate have some ombre glitter paper glimmer paper I should say and also our standard designer paper and I will be offering my usual in color club details of that will come out this week and if you're a customer of mine you will also get your copy of the new catalog over the next week so if you're at coffee and card you'll receive your own in-person copy there if you're at class you'll receive one and then the rest will be posted out class in a box will get theirs um, automatically as well so those are my three blues there then I'm going to go back to my green here and add the leaves So let's put one set in each. So being photopolymer, they're really easy to see where you're stamping. And I think what I'm going to do, am I going to do another one? I'm going to do one in there. two three so a really easy set to use and then I'm going to pop a sentiment at the top and I've picked out thanks so much but it's not really going to fit on there so what I'm going to do is switch it to best day ever and then I'm going to send this as a little thank you card to my niece Rian and her husband Andy there we go to say thank to thank them for a lovely day let's grab a larger block there we go. okay let's see who's joined us hi zana oh bless you jeanette oh fingers crossed it's so frustrating, isn't it? They had lovely weather and it was a lovely location as well. And um, yes, it was a good day all round. 
Okay, so this one I'm going to pop across the top and I think I'm going to stick with the blue. So I'm going to stick with the starry sky, which is this nice deep blue. So it's not as dark as Night of Navy, but it is slightly darker than um, Misty Moonlight, if you know that one. That's one of our retiring ones. And as you can hear, Cassie has joined us. So I'm going to pop that across the top there. And I like the style of these sentiments. They're very relaxed. So we've got best day ever like that. Yes, fingers crossed, Jeanette. It's so, you know, I've heard of so many people now finally getting to go on holiday or book holidays, which is best news ever. Okay. So, I'm just going to look for our new in colour dots. Falling out into my bag. So there's these ones here. So these are called matte decorative dots, and they're in the, the five colours, and they're also slight ombre effects, so they go light to dark, and you've got two different sizes of each. So I can pop one of these on each of those two to coordinate, or I could contrast it. Um, let's see. So, um, so this is Starry Sky. So I'm not going to go for the very dark one. Put my glasses on, that was a mistake. <laughs> chasing this around the place now <laughs> I think I picked it up yes picked it up without the sticky bit okay so let's put the adhesive down there pop this on top so that's the starry sky this is the orchid oasis it's this lighter one here Oh, cat's arrived. Sorry, Zach. So, in addition to the wedding, on Saturday, our litter of kittens arrived um, Saturday night. So, it was even more cause for celebration. So, we have four beautiful kittens and a very good first-time mum. And what my um, pick me up to? I don't know what I've done with it. There we go. So those are the in colour matte decorative dots, and they'll be part of my in colour club. Okay, so there we have our little flowers with the little dots on top you can't really see them I appreciate that and then I'm going to layer this onto some colored card onto white so I've got the five in colors here so I think I'm going to do a slight contrast maybe or I'll stick with starry sky now I'm going to stick with starry sky So this is going to go onto a note card. Just turn this over. And I'm going to just use my bone folder on the edge on both sides. Like so and I'm going to stamp 
the flower on the inside as well. So let's find the stalk back. Like so. So I hope everybody has a nice week planned. Of course, we have got another um, bank holiday, haven't we, next Monday? Let's pop the leaf. Uh, let's do the flower next and then the leaves. I am um, carrying on with my coffee and card next Monday. So if you are around in the toaster area in Northamptonshire, then I will be there three to four next bank holiday Monday. You're welcome to join us for coffee and card. And then tomorrow I've got my in-person class and our class in a box this week with our um, classes on our online class on Sunday, uh, Saturday. So all systems go. So that's the inside of my card to match. And then I'm going to do the envelope as well. So exactly the same thing, just looking for my stalk, like so make sure I've got the envelope the right way up, leaving space on the left hand side for the flower, although it doesn't actually matter if the flower head goes off to be honest, there we go. So this is the in symmetry set, which is retiring. And it is now £9.60 instead of £18. So if you like symmetrical, stylish flowers like this, then it could be a good set for you to get. Like so. Okay, so I'm not going to put the embellishment on the inside because it'll get um, squashed by the card and it can indent the inside of the card. But I'm just going to layer these up like so. So one, two, three. So the layer sizes, this is three inches by four and a half. This is three and a quarter by four and three quarters and then the note cards are three and a half by five when they're folded and I'm just looking for some glue to do that oh not much in this one grab another one so I hope everybody else had a nice weekend not much in this one either. Right. Excuse me one minute. This feels more hopeful. So a scribble of glue. Not too close to the edge. There we go. One of the things I love about this set is it's got this um, set of two stamps and this is perfect for wreaths creating wreaths using a stamparatus and also these because they're symmetrical they're perfect for um, multiple stamps this flower here you can stamp both sides I'll show you to make one complete flower okay let's pop that on the front let's get that straight So it's a very versatile set if you like stylized flowers. Oh, 
Oh no, Mumba Cat's um, upstairs with her with her little ones. She has been down this morning. That was Zach, and he's not the daddy either. <laughs> the daddy is somewhere else, out in the garden. There we go. So we've got best day ever there. Perfect card to send to Rian and Andy to say thank you for a fantastic wedding day. Let me just show you this one stamped on either side so that you can see the um, overall flower design. And also you could use all of these in a in a sort of corner. Um, let's just grab that stamp. So Mama Cat is a tortoise shell. And she's given birth to a grey, a ginger, a black and white, which is the spitting image of Dad. And another, I think, is tortoise shell. Okay, let's use sweet sorbet it's for something different. Just going to clean this off. So don't forget, if you've got a new ink pad and you're not getting clear definition of the stamp, just move some of the ink from one side to the other. And that can happen with new ink pads, but also if you over ink with a refill, it is easily done. Okay, so there's the top. going to ink this up. Or the bottom. Like so. Let's get a really pretty large flower. But you could also as I say, add in some of the smaller flowers around. Let's just do that with the Tahitian Tide. a bit symmetrical wasn't it <laughs> that wasn't my intention to make that quite as symmetrical as that go and there are some small little stamps as well that you could dot in and around and we've also got individual leaves so we've got these ones here and these so I'll just use some of the leaves and that just to fill in for you. Let's do some leaves first. There we go. And because they're photopolymer, as I said, it's really easy to position them I'm just using the one leaf but just turning it round in two different positions like so whoops and then we've got this small leaf a uh, small flower here like a little sort of daisy let's do that in the orchid oasis
So it's a nice, crisp, clean stamp. I'm going to put a leaf in there. And by contrast, tomorrow, I'm going to use Very Versailles, which is another retiring stamp set um, that is perfect for backgrounds. It's got words and it's very um, vintage in its design. So it's this one here. So this has been a very popular one. I need to check that it's still available. Um, but it's got this writing, this little area here, and this lovely set of leaves. So that will be featured tomorrow as a complete contrast to this symmetrical, bold stamp set. Let's pop a sentiment in there. So I think my thanks so much will fit in there now. there and I'm going to do that in the orchid oasis I think I think so so it's a re really relaxed set of sentiments they're not um dead straight either so it, it doesn't matter if it, if you haven't stamped it exactly where you intended let's just pop a couple of flowers up here and we're done that's my leaf so really easy to create a very quick card just with some of the components And I'll just mount that up. I might use the I'm sure to use a sweet sorbet. It's that one there. Or we'll use Parakeet Party, which is that lovely bright green. I'm going to go with that and pop that onto a base card. So these are our note cards and envelopes. They come ready cut and scored. You do need to fold them and I do recommend you use either a bone folder or the edge of a clean block just to get a nice edge. Like so. And that's going to pop onto there. So that is our Monday morning sort of simple start to the week. Just some basic um, stamping. I've got that layer. And then this one. And what I might do is pop a couple of those dots in here. Oops, so we've got the um, orchid one here. One. Let's have a parakeet party. Two. And then we'll pick out one of the sets here there we go so there's our finished quick card just to show you you can just use elements of that to create a base card so let's see thank you Glenda appreciate your comments um, and I think that's it for today so obviously I can stamp the inside of that one and the envelope 
that's my um, best day ever with that on the inside so the stamp set is called in symmetry it's um, it was available just before we came online that's for sure um, here in the UK discounted to nine pounds sixty if you're watching from anywhere else in the world the discounts will vary depending on the stock of the country that you're in and also they may have um, it may have sold out um, in other countries so just please be aware of that if you're watching this so thank you so much for joining me um, I look forward to crafting with you tomorrow so I'll be here at 7 p.m. tomorrow Tuesday and that is the 26th of April and I look forward to crafting with you then thanks so much for joining us if you're watching on replay or catch up whether it's on Facebook or YouTube if you have any queries or questions don't hesitate to um, message me and ask thank you Jeanette and um, I will get back to you I monitor those on a regular basis um, so if you have any queries or you'd like to make a comment or subscribe then that's much appreciated thank you so much everybody enjoy your day ahead wherever you may be and um, I look forward to crafting with you soon thank you so much Bye for now.